Yeah. 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 My wife broke my hiking stick because she was banging it on the ground to uh, scare monkeys on a forest trail. So I cut it off here and I'm gonna attach a, a piece of rubber on the bottom, which is made for chairs. I have to make it a level cut. I think I'm gonna use just sandpaper and sand that down. The screw that I picked was too short and the hole in that stick is really deep. So I found this, I don't know what this is for. I'm really worried this is gonna split the wood. It's not splitting yet. I really wanna be able to countersink. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I use these protective stoppers for furniture. Here's another one that I've been working on. I stripped the bark, not totally. I like to little, leave a little bit of the second layer of bark on a little bit just to give it some contrast. I put chloroprene cement in these holes. This is the third time I've done it. There's a lot of these holes where there were twigs hanging off. It kind of got hollowed out. I sanded it and put the chloroprene in there and it kind of just gets absorbed into the wood, so I have to do it a, this is the third time. I got a number of those to do. I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and blacken this again with the torch, just because it's fun and I like to play with fire. <laughs> and the stopper that I used on the other hiking pole, I have four of them, so that is gonna fit perfectly on here. And I got about a, maybe an inch and a quarter screw to go on there. This one I found also up at uh, Bagua Mountain. It was just laying on the side of the road. It was about twice as long. And I just stepped on it and broke it. Actually, I'm gonna combine Monday and Wednesday on this workout. And it looks like a lot, but it's only one set of each. So I'm gonna do this like circuit training. Super flex cycle growth phase. Floating seeds will probably not sprout. This is the water test. Tomato plants coming up. And we got some radishes, pineapple, and carrots. starting at my community here and I'm taking a little walk. I am so close to, basically it's a guy's dream place. No, I'm not talking about that kind of place. It's a, uh, well, I'll show you. Here it is up ahead. Oh cool, they have garden supplies in here. Wow. I don't think it's open yet though. They're still putting stuff on. So I saw the sign, it's opening on November 29th which is coming up about a week and a half, I guess, which is good because I need small paint brushes to add my wood protectant to the, uh, the new project. Oh. 
That looks like a near perfect match. The branch that this was on was on the ground for like four or five months. So that gave a lot of opportunity for wood boring insects to get in there and do their thing. So you've got all these markings. I'm gonna try and sand those out, but I can only, where is it? I can only go so far. At some point, I'm just gonna have to go with it. And I'm still filling all the holes from where the branches were. This is the last time I'm going to add the cement and then just gonna have to live with it. I've got the expert paint wood finish and these things. My wife had a tooth pulled and the dentist gave her these. Ooh, I forgot to wear my mask. I hold my breath. Let's see how this works. I would have to choose the worst screwdriver. Yeah, I gotta get a better screwdriver. This is my second worst screwdriver because the bearing is missing, but it'll work. It's going in nicely. Seems to be a good connection. go with that. I'm gonna go with not drilling a hole this time in the handle area and I'm just gonna do this quick tie like I did on the other. Basically an over under tie. That side and that side. I had to go back one or two knots to be able to give me enough room to put my hand in there. That's big enough to get my hand through. All right, we got ourselves a hiking staff.